Hello everyone, and welcome to MDG Videos, and today, welcome to my more one playthrough. Today, my goal is not to be killed by the giant fire death beetles. Hello, Billy. Ah! Um, what I'm gonna try to do is find the people who stole some guar hides from a merchant. And loading exterior. And we're done. Okay. Aha! Qua! So... I think, I think in the last episode, we met them. Hello, Jellyfish Man. I bow. It's going to be really awkward if this is your first episode, because you're not going to get any of these references. But there were two magic users who were over here, and I neglected to fight them because I wanted to get to Ahamusa Camp. Now that I've gone to Ahamusa Camp, I'd like to have a rematch with them. Hello? Oh my gosh, scare me to death. Holy goodness. This, my friends, is a guar. I don't understand who you are, but I don't want to fight you. Okay, now you're dead. Hello, no, not you, the Guar. Okay, hello. She looks very happy for someone to be like being a highwayman, highway woman, I guess. Wow, that was quite a squeak. Guar hide. Ah, are these are these what are Guar? Did I get? I didn't get a journal update. Hello. I think I need to take you out too. Okay, so these are the people who stole the guar hides. They're not very difficult, considering I have a sword skill of 99. Aha, uh -huh. no guar hides. Hmm. Clever. So, I feel like these are the people. Am I just completely wrong? Did I just happen across, across a quaff? Did I just happen across some men and highwaymen who had guar hides? Okay, the amulet. Okay, I haven't made any progress in the guar hide quest. Probably should save. Don't really feel like it, to be honest. Aha! No? These are the right people. Did I just did I just drop gold on the floor? That's yeah, fine, I have like 46k. Um, is this it? I was sure that was who they were. Let me, let me find, I can't for some reason find... There we go. Okay. I return to the Ashlander camp. I'm just going to see if I can find it. Where's the quest? Come on. The Guars led me to a cluster. Hunt down the missing Guar hides. It would be best to check the lo with the local Ashlanders. So I should have talked to them about the Guar hides first. Gonna avoid this really deadly looking um, Daedric Fortress. I'm not really a huge fan of Daedric Fortresses as many of you who keep up with the series will know. Ah, it feels good to have Jellyfish Man watching over me, keeping me safe. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see if we can figure out some information about the Guar Hides. Go and go and go and go and go. Goodness gracious. No, I'm done with you. I'm done, Shulk. You can't you can't bully me anymore. Okay, maybe you can. My sh health is half. Have I killed one? Did I kill one? <gasps> I killed two Shulk. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's that's a moment worthy of a save. I do need to level up, so I'm going to see if I can steal someone's bed. And, uh, good sir, may I steal your bed? I wish to acquire sleeping. Wow. Yes, I do speak English. <laughs> as my native language. Aha! No, we have not done this thing. The ones we are looking for are the Emul Ron of the Ka and Kastis. Yeah, well, they are outcasts, belong to none of our tribes. You should be able to find them south of here along the water's edge. May you bring them swift justice. Mucera. So we're looking south. South. I feel like we may have just slain those people and stolen, taken the Gora hides already. If so, we also may have broken this quest. Uh, that's fine, though. Hello, are you evil? Do I know you? Aha! These are the people oh, with the guar hides. Now these guys do, these are wearing, they are wearing full chitin armor and it looks epic. By the way, I love the way the chitin armor looks. In this game, just trying to find the right health potion, it would be, oh, can I, wait, can I just, can I just, can I just wait? Aha! I'm sure these two fine young people will protect me. Oh, and I leveled up too. I'm going to level up right before we have a battle. Okay. Think I can take these two guys? I'd be surprised if I couldn't. I think this might level up my sword to 100. Hola. Wait, wait, wait. Probably should talk to them first. 
We have the hydra and guard, and we shall keep them. You have made a mistake coming here, for we cannot allow you to leave. Offer what prayers you may, for near time is over. Ha 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 ha! Oh, archers! This cheating! I don't like ranged attacks. Oh no! I attacked a guar. I mean, okay, that's fine. It's fine. I didn't mean to hit the pack guar. The the pack. The pack guar, I guess, not a pack mule. Um, but it's fine. I can recover from this. <laughs> I'm just staggering him over and over again. Promise you I'm not cheating. Okay. Die. 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 <gasps> my long blade increased to 100, guys. We did it. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Episode 35, I think. Episode 35, and we are at longsword level 100. Ah, uh, how cool. Did you have what I require? Nothing useful, I'll be honest with you. Although, I do love the full chitin armor. The chitin helmet looks beautiful. Geareth Squar hides. Yay! Another Guar hide. Bonus Guar hides for everyone. Now, I just need to find out where he actually is. Which, I am nervous, may prove harder than I thought it would be. But don't worry, we shall find him. We shall return his guar hides to him. Oh, is, is it you already? Have I found you? Oh no. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. Oh, that you she's the. Speak. These people are actually nice. Most people are like, curse you, Outlander, or speak quickly. But these people are like, we greet you under sun and moon. And it's like, oh, you don't hate my guts without you. I, I, I mean. Maybe if you got to know me, he hated me. That, that's much better than just hating me because you don't know me. Hello, good sir. I have your guar hides. I did Speak murder the pack mule, but, um... Uh, don't be rude. That's what happened. I have your guar hides. Thank you for getting them back. It's good to hear you were able to make those f nasty people pay as well. Make sure to see Berwin and tell more of your reward. I'll send word along the trade routes to make sure she keeps an eye off her powers. So we'll get a cool reward from that. Hmm, should I get that or should I start the main quest this episode? Ooh. What level am I? I'm curious now. I'm level 11. Wow. Skills. Skills with a Z. Or Z if you're British. But I am not. Anyways, so. Hmm. Beyond measure, Whoa. Amanda. Whoa. You've got a feather hat. I must have it. Give me all feather hat. No. Um. Hmm. I think I'm going to save. The, 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 the. I'm going to save next episode. No. Yeah. Next episode is going to be the main quest. This episode, I'd like to get the reward. Let's go to Telmora. And because it is always good to have most as much of the map as you can travel down. And you know, if I see something that interests me, then we'll for sure do that. But right now, I'm just going to focus on not getting killed by the slaughterfish in the water. It's like piranha, heaven's sake. Why do I assume so slow? I guess I am wearing armor and a robe and like three sets of pants. I don't know why. I'm wearing a lot of stuff. Okay. Am I here? I'm at Telmora. So I'm looking for someone named Brerin or, or Brerin? Brerin? Boywin? Hello, are you Boywin? Anytime you're ready. No, Just you are not. We shall find Boywind, and we shall... Once we do this, all things shall be good. Okay, hello. Are you Boywind? Telvani God, may I speak to you? Oh, I'll pay the gold. 427 gold for some... What have I done? I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I did though. What did I do? I'm sorry. Where's Baron? No, 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 no. Baron the trader. So we're looking for the trading. Probably should wait. Probably not gonna take well to some armored stranger arriving in the middle of the night. Um, with armored and um, asking for money. So probably, although I don't want money, I want better gear. I have money to spare. The lower tower. Parkour! Ow. I just face planted. Come on, come on. Let me in. Let me in. Not. You know what I mean. Okay. Apothecary. Ooh. I do lap me some potions. 
Smith. Come on, it's gonna be the last one. Oh, oh, really? Did I check all of them? I must have checked all of them. No, that's the apothecary. That's that's the Smith. And this is this is just a house. Is she hiding from me again? Here we go, Berwin. Bear, bear, Berwin. It's like Arwen. If Arwen was a bear, can there please just be a bear in here? Oh, I was hoping. Are you here to get rid of the Corpus Stalker? What do you mean? Oh, oh my gosh! We were able to trap it upstairs, but no one wants to risk these by getting close to it. Normally, Master Aaron. So, guys, if you're new to this series, probably should go back and watch some other episode. But, it, but um, I every some nights when I go to sleep, like 50% of the time, I get attacked by this Corpus Stalker. They've trapped it upstairs. Normally would take care of it, but he's been so busy. Are you saying you're up to the challenge? Yes, I am. So I need to kill this corporate stalker. I'll talk to her afterwards, after I impress her by murdering this thing. Is there any way across to it? Can I, like, open a gate so that I can come to it? Because it's kind of annoying hitting it from here. Oh, it's dead. I killed it. I'm a genius. Corporate stalker. Thanks for just getting rid of it. You obviously have great skill. Is that the end of the quest, or is there something that can go from there? She was impressed, so maybe this will mean I get more money from this. Ah, my old friend Gareth, I've heard you helped it with some of serious trouble not long ago. Yeah, it was like a day ago yesterday. News travels fast. Some business with a couple of no-good Ashlanders, right? They'll never learn. Anyway, you have my thanks. I have quite an investment in the score heights. You've taken quite a... Would have taken quite a beating if Gareth had not been able to sell them. So here, I take these as a token reward. Health p potions, that's good. A ring of... Oh, I do love rings. I love... How can I help? I'll do what I can. Oh my gosh. Your voice is horrible. I may steal everything you... I may murder you and steal everything you own. But only if you something really cool. What do you have? I, w I wish... Show me all finest amazing stuff. That's a short blade. That's a long... That's pretty useless. Feather shield. Spear of light, steel shard axe. I'm, I'm just gonna be scrolling through here and be like, best sword in the game. Keep going. <laughs> oh, I love bracers. They're so cool. Storm helm. Oh, that's a 35 armor rating. Mine is probably about 10 times better. I think it's like 100. Yep, it's 100. Indurail helmet. Common shirt. An amulet of locking. Locks doors. That's cool. <gasps> a balm amulet. I'll buy that. And then I'll buy that as well, because I can't resist. I can't resist magical items. They're just too cool. Too cool to be true. Do you have anything? I'm paying nine gold for an amulet that heals me. Is this a fake amulet? Hmm. Um, what did you give me? A ring of forehand. Damage fatigue. So I can do, like, damage people's fatigue. Can I put that on? What does that replace? Oh, a healing ring. I want the moon and star, because that makes me the Nerverine. That's a very important. It's the one ring. No, that's not the one ring. Um, Balm Amulet. This resists 10 Paralyze. I have never used healing. How is this? This is a much better healing than um this. But this is a passive effect, and I do like passive effects in general. Amulet of Locking. I, oh, I can't resist magical items. I am such a sucker for magical items. Okay. Ooh. Congratulations. Now why are you here? I'm curious. What do you do? A hireling. Ah. I wish to speak. There's Tavani Mage and Alchemist to tell Mora. Outside the tower you also... Oh, she's just telling me. Oh, I thought she had a quest. I thought there was a quest, but there really, there really kind of wasn't. Okay, guys. So I think what I'm going to do is off camera. Ooh, why do you look like an octopus stuffed inside a suit of bone mold, bone mold armor? I forgot its name. Oh, let's get a little advice. Best bargain for a risk taker is a jug of Sajima. Makes you strong as an ogrim. Not for long, but long enough. Because I'm an Australian. I'm an Australian accent, man. So, answer me in the comments, guys. Can my this long blade skill get bigger than 100? I don't think it can. But that'd be really cool if it could. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm -hmm. But anyways, guys. So I know this is a short marshmallow. Marshmallow? Marshmallow. Oh, I figured that was more likely. Okay, guys. So I'm going to end this episode. I know it's been short. But it's just been a nice episode. A little prepare preparation episode. And next episode is the episode where the game crashes. No, we're good. The next episode is the episode where we go on an epic quest for these, um, for the Ahemusa tribe to get them to follow us into glorious battle. Ah, uh, it's been just a nice episode. Just nice, relaxing, fun, epic episode. Unless this is your first episode, in which it probably wasn't the greatest. Morrowind, what are you do? Ah, goodness gracious, scared me to death. Why do I swim so sl slow? Like, I'm really slow swimmer. That's really weird. Okay. Anyways. Ah. Where am I? I'm, I'm in... I just turned it completely around. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Also, I, I'd like some other advice. Now that I've got my short sword skill up, should I get another... Wow. Goodness, more one is just laggy. It's all heck. Um, should I get experience in something else? Am I just traveling back to myself? Why can't I just, I just want to go, I just want to go northwest. Is it so hard for me to ask? Okay, guys, let's see if I can not be attacked by deadly piranha. Oh, yeah, we made it. Okay, now from here we go north. Whoa, oh, I, I was so surprised, like, what is this ancient creature? And it's just a mud crab. It's literally the first enemy you meet in the game. And I was really surprised. Oh yeah, here's where we murdered the two uh, thieves. A proud moment in my career. Not really. Murder never, ow, never works out in real life. Only in video games and stories does it actually work. And sometimes not even then, really. Go away. Nobody loves you. Ow. Okay. Yay. We finally... Ah, okay. Side quests are over. I'm sure I've missed about three dozen side quests. But it is time to talk to their wise woman. Sun and sky outlander, we greet you warmly. Well, they're so nice here. Why can't everyone be this nice? Okay. So I need to go talk to... I've returned. I've spoken to the Ashlanders. And not that. The Emilio show to cure people. Ashamanu, where is it? What do I need to do? Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where is it? The gold cut. Here we go. I lost Musa. They are a poor tribe. So I need to talk to Sinunamu Mirpal. I remember now. Sinunamu Mirpal. Sinunamu Mirpal. Sinunamu Mirpal. Okay, guys, here's the wise woman's tent. Here's where Sinunanamirpal lives. And next episode, we will go in there and see what our epic quest is to get to the allegiance of the Ahamusa camp. And I feel bad about leading them into battle. These guys are just, like, nice. So good to see you. They're just nice. Like, I have never done anything. I mean, to be honest, like, I've never done anything for these people. I've never met them, and they're just nice to me. I mean, maybe they see, like, the ring on my finger, and they know they better be nice to the Nerebarina or I'll destroy all of you with my glowy golden robe. So good to see. Do I know you? See? It's just, it's just nice. It's so refreshing from the speak quickly, Outlander, or go away that you get from everyone else. But anyways, guys... Thank you all for watching this nice, relaxing episode of Morrowind. Have a great day, God bless, and goodbye. Why do I keep looking at the sky this episode? I'm just like, oh, it's beautiful. Or, or as some might say, it's blue-tiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodbye.